Imagine a world without paper. No books, no notebooks, no paper for doodling or writing important notes. Surprising as it may be, all this paper comes from something as solid and unyielding as a tree. But how does a tree become a sheet of paper? Let's dive into this fascinating transformation. Paper is one of the most ubiquitous materials in our daily lives, yet many of us don't give a second thought to its origins. Today, we'll embark on a journey to uncover how trees, standing tall in forests, are turned into the thin, versatile sheets we use every day. This process is not only fascinating, but also showcases human ingenuity and the wonders of industrial technology. Transforming a tree into paper is no simple task. Trees are sturdy, complex organisms composed of various layers, each serving a different purpose. The challenge lies in breaking down this robust structure into a form that can be reshaped into paper. This process involves several critical steps, including logging, debarking, chipping, pulping, and finally, forming and drying the paper. Each step requires precision and care to ensure the final product is both usable and of high quality. The journey begins in sustainably managed forests, where trees are carefully selected and harvested. This involves using specialized machinery to cut down trees, which are then transported to a processing facility. Once at the facility, the logs are stripped of their bark. This step is crucial as the bark can contaminate the pulp. The debarked logs are then chipped into small, uniform pieces to facilitate the pulping process. The wood chips are cooked in a chemical solution to break down the linen, the substance that binds the wood fibers together. This results in a fibrous pulp, which is the raw material for paper. The pulp is then spread out on screens and drained of water, forming a mat of interwoven fibers. This mat is pressed and dried to form sheets of paper, which are then rolled and cut to size. Logging is often the first step in paper production. Foresters plan the harvest to minimize environmental impact and ensure sustainable practices. Trees are felled using chainsaws or feller bunchers, machines that cut and gather trees efficiently. The logs are then transported to the mill via trucks or rivers. At the mill, the logs pass through debarking drums, where they are tumbled to remove the bark. The debarked logs are fed into chippers, which slice them into small, consistent chips. These chips are critical for creating a uniform pulp mixture. There are two main types of pulping processes, mechanical and chemical. In the mechanical process, the wood chips are ground into pulp using grinding stones or refiners. This method is energy intensive, but retains most of the wood fibers. In the chemical process, the chips are cooked in a solution of water, chemicals like sodium hydroxide and sodium sulfide, and heat. This breaks down the linen and releases the cellulose fibers, resulting in a smoother and stronger pulp. The pulp is washed and screened to remove any remaining impurities. It is then diluted with water to form a slurry, which is spread onto a moving screen. The water drains away, leaving a wet mat of fibers. This mat is pressed to remove more water and then passed through heated rollers to dry it completely. The dried paper is wound into large rolls, ready for further processing. The magical moment in papermaking is when the pulp mixture transforms into recognizable paper sheets. This occurs on the paper machine, where the slurry of pulp is spread onto a moving wire mesh. As the water drains away, the fibers begin to interlace, forming a wet sheet of paper. This sheet is pressed between felt rollers to remove more water and then heated to dry it. The transformation from a slurry of fibers to a continuous sheet of paper is truly a marvel of modern engineering. The final paper sheet, though still rough, is a testament to the intricate process and careful coordination of machinery and human expertise. It is then further processed, smoothed, and cut into the sizes we use daily, whether for notebooks, printing paper, or other uses. In summary, the journey from trees to notebooks is a complex yet mesmerizing process that transforms a raw, natural material into a versatile, everyday product. This process highlights not only the remarkable adaptability of natural resources, but also the ingenuity and precision of industrial technology. 
If you found this journey from tree to paper as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing insights into everyday processes.